For engines that have carburetors, if you're using a high horsepower NOS kit, it's suggested to run a separate fuel pump and line to the fuel solenoid. However, with lower horsepower kits, in many cases, you may be able to simply splice into an existing rubber fuel feed hose to supply the fuel solenoid. With a mechanical or electric fuel pump, you should locate an unobstructed part of the rubber fuel hose between the fuel pump and the carburetor. If you like, first you can install the fuel feed line to the fuel solenoid filter to determine the best point to access the fuel line. Now cut the line where you'd like to add in the T-fitting from your kit. Start with the hose clamps and then the 3 8 inch T-fitting and clamp it in place. Now the additional port from the T-fitting can be connected to the fuel feed line that will route to the solenoid. The other end of the feed hose should be fitted to the fuel filter already sealed into place in the inlet port of the solenoid. Your fuel solenoid will now have a fuel supply. If you're installing a direct port system, your kit will include the fuel filters that will install into your fuel solenoids. By this point, they should be sealed and fitted in place. A direct port system creates more horsepower than tapping into a standard fuel line can provide. For these types of systems, you'll be required to provide a separate fuel pump and fuel feed line that can split if needed to supply enough fuel to your fuel solenoids. You'll need to terminate your additional fuel supply to female AN fittings that will match the male AN filter ends that have been installed into the fuel solenoids. At this point, any type of carbureted engine should have a connection created that will supply additional fuel to any fuel solenoids.